I'm here today in Vineland, uh, New Jersey at our brand new Vinehaven Adventist School. Uh, this is the location that we have selected for the churches from the area to bring in food and clothes to help those in the Atlantic City area. Uh, the message was just put out last night via texting and Facebook. Get on it and start posting stuff and text the directors. The Pathfinder clubs from all around, from Atlantic City, from Vineland, from Panamericana, from uh, Laurel Springs, they're all here and bringing in food and supplies. Bueno, nosotros somos originalmente de Atlantic City y estamos cuidando la zona 7. We are collecting food and clothes for the people that do not have any because of the storm. We have toothbrush, toilet paper, toothpaste, um, conditioner, shampoo. Our Christianity has to show through. Yes, we can't keep warming the, the seats at the church. We have to get up and do something. Right, that's true. There was a couple who actually is in the hospital and they gave birth to their baby yesterday. Oh my. They don't have any electric. They lost everything. They're oh currently in the hospital and once they get released from the hospital, they don't know where to go. We're just sorting out clothes right now to get them ready for uh, Atlantic City. We made the appeal last night during the conference times that we're holding in the Violent Spanish Church and also this morning. And we also appeal to the visitors that came. It looks like we have a lot of people who have responded on such short notice, don't we, here? That is correct, because I just went outside and I seen like four trucks pulling in, full of stuff. Which church are, are you from? This is Laura Springs Spanish Church. So y'all just put out the word today and everybody's responding, bringing Yeah, they put out the word actually yes, last night, afternoon. Like in the yes. afternoon, and everybody else responded very quickly. Well, Pastor Torres, tell us about what you've seen in Atlantic City with the destruction. Oh, in Atlantic City we, we saw a lot of disaster. Many people, they have um, needs, but with our brothers, they are out of the Atlantic City. When they come back, they get many things to the people, food, clothes, and everything. Yeah. But from Vailan, we, with the, all the churches in the south, we bring many things for them. You can see in this place, they put all the food, clothes, and bags, and right now we prepare to go to Atlantic City. Okay, now we're getting ready to leave in just a few minutes to go over to Atlantic City to distribute food. The you people is very exciting yeah. because it's a very good opportunity for, to help the people. I was talking with one of the members from Atlantic City who was telling me that all of the basements of all the houses there are just flooded still. No one has been able to get in there, no electricity to pump out the water out of all of these basements. If this is the storm of the century, now we need to do the response of the century. It's time to help. I know nobody can help everybody, but we can help one or two. Begin in your neighborhood if something is needed. And then remember your church. Be a contributor, a solution to the people in need.